Ito ang programa ang Bawal Ang Pikoon. Get it straight with Daniel Rosan. Ginawa pa rin po natin si Honorable Jericho Petinia, ang uh, Secretary ng Department of Energy. So, sir, uh, ba't kailangan pa natin yung, ano, hindi pa natin pwede kalimutan emergency powers para wala nang pinagtatalunan. So, kanino ba ipapasa yung singil doon sa uh, magiging uh, gasto sa ILT? Oh, there are probably sa emergency powers na pinag-uusapan ngayon, okay, merong dadalawang uh, factors na uh, pinagtatalunan. Okay? Well, well, I wouldn't say pinagtatalunan pero importante. Number one, kanino ipapasa ang cost ng ILP, incremental hmm. cost. Sabi ng Senate version, eh, hindi, sa tao na yan kasi natural naman yan. Eh. Dahil sila naman ang gumagamit. O okay. kaya okay. okay. gumagamit niyan. Hmm. Sabi naman ng Congress, hindi, pinangako namin yan, nasasagutin ng gobyerno yan. Hmm. Pwede naman kunin sa malampaya, malampaya. funds. Oh. How much will it be? 500 million hmm. at the most. At the, hmm. Very, hmm. at the very most. Pero meron pang isang aspeto, yan hindi pa naayos yan. Meron pang isang aspeto na bakit kailangan natin ipasa ito? Anong pinag, pinag, ano ang gamit ng, ng emergency power when it comes to ILP? Mm. Ang ILP is merong tinatawag na protocol. Ang protocol na ito, ang sinasabi, practice. Mm -hmm. Kung gagamitin ang ILP, kailan gagamitin? Kung merong red alert. Mm -hmm. Ano ba ang red alert? Ang red alert is may brown out na. Mm -hmm. Nagka brown out ngayon, tatawagan si ILP. ILP, patakbuhin mo yung mga makina mo para hindi ka na namin bigyan ng kuryente, bibigyan namin sa iba. That's mandatory? Uh, it's actually voluntary. Uh -huh. okay. Voluntary uh, kung hindi under ng emergency powers? Kahit na under emergency power, voluntary pa rin yan. Oh, so what, What's what difference? difference does it make? Ang difference is that meron kaming pinakausap naman sa emergency power. Kasi kung red alert lang, of course you don't need, you don't need that anymore. Ano ang importante na nandun sa emergency power, we run it on orange alert. Ano ba ang orange alert? Pag manipis na, pinipis na ang reserve, pero wala pang brown out, patakbo na si ILP. Kung baga, ba't pa tayo mag-aantay ng brown out? Oo, oh, eh, pero pwede, kung, kung uh, ganun din naman pala na voluntary lang din yon, so hindi mo rin sila pwedeng puwersa. And what's the use of the emergency power? E except yung sinabi mo lang, kailan tayo mag-uumpis ang umingi? Yes. Ang, ang red alert, based sa aming mga testing, okay, Merong 70% compliance. Pag sinabing 70% compliance, yung 30% hindi sa ayaw nila. May constraint sila. For example, I need 12 hours notice. Pangalawa, pinastart namin pero ayaw tumakbo. These are all voluntary pero hindi ibig sabihin talagang minamandohan mo sila natatakbo. But they're all actually willing. Kaya lang, ang problema lang sa kanila is that meron sila mga technical problems. So, we put it at, pe we peg it at 70%. They run on red alert kapag may brown out na. Kaya lang, sa dami nito, hindi ito isang planta na isi-switch mo lang. Mga tatlong daan yan, tatawagan mo isa-isa yan. And that, uh, that is why the ramp-up period is medyo matagal. Kaya nga sinasabi namin, kung meron tayong emergency power, patatakbuhin sila. Willing naman silang tumakbo. Pero wala pang brown out pag manipis na ang reserve. In other, word, in other words, why wait for the brown out when you can actually, pag manipis na, imminent na, patakbuhin na natin. No, but if it's not mandatory, then why can't you not do it ng uh, walang emergency power? Um, kasi ganun, pwede mo, <laughs> kasi wala naman sila, let's say, ako, hindi ako sumama, hindi ako, hindi ko ginawa, or whatever. Kung hindi mandatory on my part, then wala akong punishment eh. Ang, hindi ang mandatory ang pinag-uusapan na, natin dito, ang compensation. Why? Because under the normal red, uh, red alert ILP, kapag ikaw ay tumakbo, ang cost mo ipapasa sa tao. Now, can it be done? Yes. Ah, wala nang hearing? May hearing na to, matagal na to because this practice has been there for quite some time in Mindanao and Visaya. So it's hmm. a standard practice already. What is not standard is the orange alert. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki ang gagastusin ngayon at ipapasa sa tao because mas frequent ang pagtakbo ng ILP kesa sa red alert. Take hmm. note, manipis pa lang ng reserve, tatakbo ka na. Mm -mm. Ang question ngayon, who will pay them? Sino magbabayad sa kanila kung orange alert? Uh, right now, there is no resolution sa ERC because it needs to be heard. At alam ko maraming kukontar dito. Mm -mm. Baka isang taon yan bago ma-formulate yung rules na at ma mm -mm. with consultation, that is non-existent. Pero pagdating sa emergency power, it becomes a legal uh, aspect. Yes, but it will not make any difference if in case that uh, they will decide na sa consumer pa rin ipasa. The only difference is that kung magdi-decide sila na sasagutin ng gobyerno, isa-subsidize through the Malampaya funds. Right now, right now, I cannot run the ILP on orange alert, okay, even if it will be passed to the people because 
before you can pass it on to the people, there has to be an ERC resolution with full consultation. There is none mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, ipapasa naman kung walang emergency powers, ipapasa sa tao, hindi rin po pwede kasi kailangan niya ng batas. So, whether or not ipapasa sa tao or sasagutin ng gobyerno, if you run ILP on Orange Alert, you really need a law. So, kaya mo kailangan ng emergency power ngayon is para, una, patanggal mo na consultation. Pangalawa, para pwede mo ipasa kung kanino mo gusto ipasa base doon sa mapapagkasunduan nila. Yes. Uh, so, ito ngayon yung magiging burden as to whether gagawin ba ng Kongreso yung version nila o yung Senado sa version nila. Dahil ang Senate, sabi nila, ipasa sa tao. That's ang right. Congress, ang sabi nila, ipa-absorb sa uh, go gobyerno. Uh, yun ang, yun ang pinag pinag-uusapan uh, nila. Ngayon. Pero kayo, ano ba talaga ang inyong position on this? Ang position ko naman is uh, from the very start, sinabi ko na to. That from the very start is that, uh, kasi ang original natin dito na, na hiningi ano, is uh, to buy additional gensets. Talaga mm -hmm. ng totoong planta, hindi mm -hmm. ILP. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang ILP, 1 megawatt dito, 2 megawatts doon. Mm -hmm. Iba kasi kung meron kang 3 to 500 megawatts na isang start mo, tatakbo na. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that has been shut down already, hindi mm -hmm. na option yan. Pero even during that time, sabi ko, ang karagdagan na bayad nito, pati yung ILP, ang sinasabi ko, market forces ang, ang padidiktahin natin. Ibig sabihin, it, it is market-driven, pero kung merong karagdagan dito, sasagutin ng gobyerno. Only for this particular time. The incremental cost, not the entire cost. Ha? Mm -hmm. In other words, kung walang shortage ngayon, ano bang binabayaran mo? Mm -hmm. Eto. Kasi meron tayong shortage, pinatakbo yung ILP, tumaas ka ng konti. Mm -hmm. So ang sinasabi ko, yung pagtaas ng konti na yan, yan lang sasagutin. Ng tao? Ng, ta ng gobyerno. Okay. Okay. Ibig sabihin, uh, we, want the, uh, we want the rates to be transparent pagdating sa tao. In other words, dapat hindi mo ma-feel kung merong shortage o wala. Mm -hmm. Okay, yun ang sa amin. So, incremental cost ang... Pero di ba yun naman talaga generally incremental din even yung sinasabi ng gano? Even yung sinasabi ng gano? Kongreso. Uh, Kongreso. Ang una kasing basa namin doon sa pinasa nilang resolution was that the full cost of the ILP, not the incremental cost. No, no, no. Uh, ang sinabi sa akin mismo ni Ray Umali, eh, well, yung incremental lang din. Yan na ang sinabi nila ngayon. Okay, kasi okay. Klinar, klinaro namin yan. Mm -hmm. Pero if you look at the resolution... Ang original talaga doon is the full cost of the ILP. So having said that, mas okay na sa inyo ngayon yun. Yung version Incremental ng Kongreso. Cost, yes. if, uh, if that is the case, sa Kongreso, yung, Kongreso, uh, yung Congress version na ang gusto nyo i-adopt. Well, um, not because we're favoring anybody. Hmm. It's because originally, yun naman talaga yun ang hiningi namin. Yun ang inyong okay. uh, hinihingi. Oh, oh. Pero hindi ho ba ma-overtake ka ng events ito? If in case, uh, uh, ma-delay ma pa, ma ma pa ng ma-delay. It might be. Okay, but we have to bear in mind na ang, ang uh, summertime natin is up to July. Ito ang binabantayan natin. Mm -hmm. So, at any time it's there, ganito na lang. Um, you continue, parang sa akin is, eventually they'll, they'll, they'll be able to settle it. No? Whether it's, it will be settled today or two months from now, yan ang, yan ang anybody's guess. But, but the thing is, for as long as we're still within summer, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Because if, if I don't need it, okay, I don't need it. Okay, I don't get to use it. Pero my God, if I needed it and it's not there, it's a problem. Pero ang inihingi lang naman ninyo, di po ba hanggang July? Hanggang July lang. Power. July 31, then we're, we're gonna be okay. Although, ang Senate eh, parang gusto pang gawin na hanggang 2016. 2016. Uh, uh, pero kayo hanggang July lang? July. Because ang Senate naman, ang uh, nakikita naman ni Senator Osmeña is that this problem will continue to persist in 2016. But you believe that? Uh, based sa projection namin, we should be okay by 2016. Ang kalaban naman natin dito, Daniel, is um, will the plants come on time? So, categorically, if you will be asked, uh, ano bang gusto nyo talaga? Mas gusto nyo bang i-extend ang 2016 o okay na kayo ng July? Tama na tayo dito? Um, ang original uli ng hiningi namin, I'm not basing this on, on anybody's version. I'm basing this on our version. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our... The original na hiningi namin na, na panukala was actually up to July 31, 2015. Mm -hmm. Hindi kasamang 2016. And you stick to that? And our data shows that uh, we're still 2015. That's why um, we're providing the Senate now with information that they want on our projections for 2016. Alright, so you're not convinced with the, what they are saying po na 
this might actually be extended ng 2016. So kaya kailangan uh, kaya kayo. Okay na kayo basta tanggan dito na lang July na lang tayo para walang maraming usapan. Ganito. Malala malalaman namin for sure ang 2016 by the end of the summer ng 2015. Uh, that's also the reason why in 2014, ang sabi nila, January ng 2014, bakit hindi mo sinabi sa amin ang situation ng 2015? Because we needed to finish the entire summer to look at the plants na permanently, hindi na makakatakbo, frequent, ano bang mga frequency nila, then we put it into our projection. So, our 2016 will be uh, solidified. So far right now, ang data namin okay. But we will not confirm some of our suspicions until we finish the summer of 2015. So you're saying, pagdating po ng July, maaaring sabihin ninyo na, oops, kailangan pala i-extend natin. Uh, and I, we do agree now with the, uh, what the uh, Senate is saying. Pwede namin sabihin sa kanila na, alam mo, kasi ganito ang nangyari sa 2020, 2015 or 2015. Maraming planta na 2014, matatapos na. Okay? Mm -hmm. Supposed to be. E yung iba ngayon, hindi pa nag-online hanggang ngayon. Mm -hmm. Yung iba, June pa of this year. So we will not find out about these glitches in their, uh, in their uh, uh, operation or actually in their installation of new capacity until we're actually close to the date. Pero mm -hmm. so far, all indications show that we're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. So da dapat din uh, i-consider pala ninyo ngayon sinasabi ng Senate. Kasi hindi kayo sigurado dahil baka mamaya pagdating noong July sabihin nyo ay kailangan pa pala namin well, i-extend dahil ito, ganito-ganito mga nangyayari. So another issue na naman, it's either... Parang uh, magtatalo-talo na naman kung i-extend o di ba, di ba usapin na Pero naman? alam mo, uh, kami, we can only give them the data but in the end, they will have to decide on this. Kasi yes. sila naman ang talagang magde-decide nito. Ang sa amin naman ganito, as far as 2016 is concerned, para sa akin, kung gusto mo ha, hanggang 2017 for all summer because it's very simple. Mm -hmm. The measures that we're putting in place is if you don't need it, it's not going to cost anything. Mm -hmm. But if you need it, then at least nandiyan ready. Mm -hmm. um, siguro, uh, to some extent, I agree with the Senate version na uh, i-extend to 2016, not because we believe that there's a problem. It's because this is the first time that we are testing the waters when it comes to Section 71 mm -hmm. ng IPIRA. Ano ba ang sinasabi ng Section 71? In case of tight supply, okay, mm -hmm. the, uh, or imminent shortage, the... Uh, the uh, executive can go to Congress and Senate and ask for additional capacity. Mm -hmm. Now, we tested this ngayon. Ang expectation ko, Daniel, sa totoo lang, ha, expectation mm -hmm. ko was, I will present, and then, titingnan nila ang mga data, and then, by at latest, October of 2014, either it is rejected or accepted. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, we don't believe you. Okay. Shut down. Or, we believe you, we'll give it to you. Honestly, I didn't think that it will reach up to March na hindi pa na mm -hmm. So, this is actually testing the water when it comes to Section 71. So, this is the first time it's been invoked at nakikita ko na, oh, it's a long process. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not a long process, then for 2016, just in case we need it, we file it again. Mm -hmm. Pero so, sensing, na sensing Daniel na talagang marathon ang lumalabas dito, uh -oh. more than six months na wala pa rin, then probably if uh, the Senate version is up to 2016, uh, lagyan lang ng, ng, ng uh, condition doon na kung wala naman talaga, pwede i-cut short. Eh, hindi mo gagamitin. Okay, okay. Kasi hindi mo naman talaga gagamitin to pag hindi mo kailangan. Mm -hmm. So parang yung, yung iniintay sana nyo na yes or no lang, eh hindi ganoon na nangyari. Again, uh, maybe. Again, maybe. <laughs> so, ngayon, ang tinintay pa rin ng sagot lagi ng mga kababayan natin is, magkakaroon ba ng scheduled rotational brownout? Uh, eto naman ang sagot ko na consistent ako ever since. Even when July pa lang ito. Pero for some reason, Daniel, iba ang lumalabas sa uh, news at iba naman ang sinasabi ko. Anyway, live tayo. So, wala uh, hindi ko pwede i-edit to. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi dati, sinabi ko, Um, this was way back in July and August. Sabi ko, um, we can see that there's a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the problem, uh, the worst scenario is that you will have a two-hour rotating brownout, okay, lasting for a maximum of eight hours. That's, that's the worst scenario. Mm -hmm. Ang lumabas ngayon sa news, may eight-hour brownout. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imbis na two hours, 
spanning for two hours rotating spanning for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Ang lumabas eight hours ang brown out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they two hours na umi ikot for eight hours. Okay. Pero ang diri nakikita nila ang sinabi ko rin. The best scenario is we don't have a brown out. So the worst is two hours umi ikot sa ocho oras. Yun ang worst scenario. Worst scenario. Yeah. At mangyayari ang worst scenario kung mangyayari ang worst scenario kung Number one, ang demand natin tumaas. Which apparently will? It will eventually uh, mm -hmm. tataas yan. Kasi ngayon nga, eh, natutuwa kami lahat. Sabi namin, baka pwede na tayo magpa-ice cream. So having said that, na yung, yung uh, pagtaas ay talagang expected, so nanganganig talaga yung two hours na rotational. Um, uh, dapat sabay-sabay uh, ng mga kondisyon. Okay? Okay. Ang demand one. natin tumaas. Okay. Okay. Ang hydro natin bumaba ang performance. Okay. Kasi ngayon, magandang performance ang hydro natin ngayon. Alright, dahil may tubig pa. May tubig pa. Okay. okay. This is the, just the start of summer. Oh. And then, yung pangatlo talaga, mm -hmm. na sabihin na lang natin, ang hydro to some extent, pwede mong tipirin. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Ang demand, pwede natin sabihin na, pwede ba, 25 degrees lang tayo. Mm -hmm. Pero ang wala talaga tayong control, kung ang mga planta sabay-sabay bumagsak. Yun ang number three. Number so, magsabay-sabay na bumagsak ang mga planta. Which is, uh, pwede, pwede uh, mangyayari bang sabotahihin yan? Hindi naman sabotahi ang nangyayari dito. Talaga ang mga planta, it's like a car. Okay? Mm. It will break down. In fact, yung ibang mga, mga planta, kagaya ng malaya, hanggang ngayon, down pa, pinipilit ko talaga sila, you give me a date when it's going to run. Mm. Uh, Pinupusta na namin lahat. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, magpapakain na ako. Pag na, pero talaga hindi makakumit. At finally, mayroong isang engineer nagsabi, Sir, sige na nga, April 30. Mm -hmm. Iko-commit ko na yung sarili ko, tatakbo yan. So, how do we solve these uh, problems now? Para wag ma 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 mangyari. Una, yung sinasabi ninyo, kung di tumaas ang demand. So, ang panawagan ninyo, uh, pagka, hindi kasi tumaas ang demand, talagang medyo problematic yon. Kaya na nanawagan kayo na, pwede ba, 25 degrees? Ano Pakiusap lang? lang naman to. Oh, yes, 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 oh. exactly, exactly. And then, 25 degrees, sabi nila, eh, mainit. Kaya oh. nga, hindi na uso sa amin ang barong ngayon. Mm -hmm. Okay? Wala nang undershirt. Mm -hmm. Okay? Kasi ang sinasabi namin, baka po pwede for summer also, well, let us drop the barong and the suits. Mm -hmm. At punta tayo sa casual dressing. Uh -oh. okay. At marami naman natutuwa dito kasi yung mga boss nila, yung iba hindi nila nakikita. Uh -huh. uh, iba palang mga itsura. At uh, nakakaporma kayo ngayon. Nakakaporma ngayon. <laughs> hindi, hindi monotonous. No? Oh, medyo, medyo groovy ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> groovy ngayon. So, isa yan. Okay. Sabi nila, ano mga pinagsasabi ni Secretary Pitilia, mm. init ng 25, tsaka casual dress, hindi naman po pwede yan. Mm. But I tell you, I'm not reinventing anything. Yes, Because yes, ako, yes. mahilig ako mga opya kung ikabubuti. Mm. Kinopya ko lang to sa ibang bansa, sa Korea and Japan. Mm. Alam mo sa Japan, ano ang temper temperature nila? Because it's not only in the Philippines where we have a problem on summer. It's mm. the entire world. Mm. They normally, we all have problems when it comes to summer. Mm. Pero ang sa atin, dagdagan ng supply, sa iba hindi. Mm. I-flatten ang demand. Ang demand. Bawasan no. ang demand. So, so that's one. No. In, in Japan, actually, it's 27 degrees. Mm -hmm. At sila makikita mo tuwing summer sa kanila, cool biz. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin yung iba, naka-shorts pa. Mm -hmm. oh. So isa yan. Okay. Number two. I would, uh, I would love to see that. Uh, cool biz. Papasok, papasok ka, naka-shorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, marami rin akong gustong makita na <laughs> papasok. <laughs> so we're all excited okay. if they're going to do it. No? But uh, anyway, That is something within our control at sinasabi ng mamamayan parati, gusto mong tumulong. Mm -hmm. Ano ko makakatulong? I mean, sa dami ng problema natin dito, minsan, you're helpless of what you can do. But this one, mm, pwede, you pwede. can actually participate. Mm -hmm. no? um, pero that is something that the public can control. Number two, ang pagtitipid ng mga hydro, kami na niyan. Uh -huh. okay. Pero yung pangatlo, mag-aabiria, meron tayong ginawa na sinabi natin, please, pwede ba? Before summer, Make sure all your plants are well maintained. Mm -hmm. Okay, yun inagahan nila yan. Ina masusina nila. Yun it is a mechanic, electromechanical device. It's bound to actually break. So oh, okay, naman ngayon so far na babantayan pa and uh, may reserve pa tayo at uh, ang worst scenario ay two hours na rotational brownout within eight hours. That's claro. Huh? Oh. Uh, klaro yan, Daniel. Oh. Pero sabi naman, na, kasi ang na-emphasize parati ang worst scenario. Oh. Best scenario the best is... best scenario is... No brownout at all. No brownout at all. Pero ang Puerto Princesa, marami ng brownout. Eh, eh. Hindi, Luzon Grid. Oh. Okay, Luzon Grid ang pinag-usapan natin. Okay, ha? so sa, sa Luzon, itong oh. Luzon Grid, 
eh dapat wala pang brown out. Ngayon wala pang ganoon ah, wala. Wala pa. pa. It, ito nga ang sinasabi nila. Yung iba naman titimbang nila, worst. Pero what are the probabilities? Mm. Actually, sinasabi ko sa mga tao ko, oh, gusto nyo, uh, buffet, walang brown out. Medyo nagkakamot ng ulo. For the entire summer, mm. not a single brown out. Yung iba parang, oo, oh, oh, yung iba naman, hindi, hati lahat ng mga tao mm. ko. Kasi nakikita nila ang, mm. ang situation natin. Pero sa ordinaryong mamamayan, siguro ang best na ang best na gauge natin dito at tatanoy ng lahat, bibili ba ako ng generator? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yun ang sasabihin. Ang sinasabi ko naman is that, no. If you're going to buy a generator solely for the summer purposes, it's not worth it. Mm, it's not okay. practical. Mm-hmm. Sasabihin nila, so ibig sabihin walang brown out? Hindi, sinasabi ko, hindi worth it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because hindi mo mababawi yan kung itong 2015 summer lang pagtitingnan mo. Kaya lang, mm-hmm. kung may negosyo ka, gusto mo ng redundancy, it's a requirement, Ayos. ibang rason. Pero if the sole reason is for 2015, it's not going to be worth it. All right. What's your message to Senate at sa Congress ngayon? Um, I don't have to give them a, <laughs> a message because I talk to them every now and then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ang sa amin naman, we will continue to provide you with all the information that you need in order for you to actually uh, come up with uh, an agreement sa mm-hmm. dalawa. Pero ang sa akin is, um, I don't have to give them any message at this point because I'm really confident that in the end, Uh, they will be able to agree on something. All right. Ang uh, pangamba ng mga mamamayan, anong gusto niyo sabihin sa kanila? Ang pangangamba natin is nandyan. Um, it's all a matter of how severe. Kasi pag tinanong ko ang tao, actually, sinabi ko rin to noong July. Ang sabi ko, uh, during that time, wala pa yung mga additional, kasi nanawagan ako, eh, July pa lang nanawagan na ako. At ang mga generators pumasok. Yung iba kahit lugi, tinayo nila yung planta ngayon just to help on the summer. Ngayon, ang sabi ko sa kanila is that the worst scenario is basically you'll have 20 days of two hours rotating brownout lasting for eight hours. 20 days lang for summer. Best scenario is wala kang brownout. Um, other scenarios, maybe there are three days na may brownout. No. Is it a crisis? Kasi yun ang tanong ko, is it a crisis? Ang problema sa atin, eh, two hours lang na brownout, lalo na pag hindi nakakapanood ng UNTV kasi mm. walang ilaw, eh talagang sa kanila crisis na yan. Mm. So, We've gotten used to electricity na sa panahon, panahon ko, hindi pa naman ako ganun katanda ganyan. Mm. Pero yung bata pa ako dati, pag nag-4 hours rotating kami everyday, masaya na kami. Kasi mm. ang normal namin, 8 hours. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayong panahon, ma-brownoutan ka lang ng 2 hours at hindi pa ito dahil sa crisis, dahil lang sa bagyo, aba, lahat ng tao nagmumura na. Mm-hmm. Okay? We've so gotten used to it that sometimes a 2 hour or a 4 hour brownout For one day in the entire summer, is to them a crisis. Mm-hmm. And that's why kami, ang sinasabi namin, we're trying to avoid any inconvenience that anybody will, will, will suffer just in case there is one. Mm-hmm. By making sure there is none. Okay, so let's do our part. Let's do our part because mm-hmm. hindi ko to kaya na ako lang. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng iba eh, uh, ang payat mo. Sabi ko, paano ba ang sekreto mo? Sabi ko, simple lang. Mag-energy secretary ka. Papayat ka talaga. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Uh, baka marami mag-aspire, mag-energy secretary. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you sir. Much. Department of Energy Secretary Honorable Jericho Petilia dito lamang po sa programang Bawal Ang Pikon. Get it straight with Daniel Rosano.